Um, y'all know, y'all could tell. We in Bible study. And um, today we were studying James chapter 4, verse 8. And in this translation that I'm using, it says, Come close to God, and He will come close to you. Clean up your lives, you sinners, and clear your minds, you doubters. And I find in most translations, the beginning is the same. Come close to God, and He will come close to you. And that's the part that I kind of wanted to share. Because I really felt strongly like, God wants you to know, like, if you make room for him, he can show up. But I think sometimes in the busyness of our lives, you know, whatever it is in your life that you have going on, whether you're a wife, a mother, a friend, whatever you have going on, you could be a grad student, you could be anything, right? We all have stuff going on and our, our plates are often so full. Or it could just be a situation where... There's a part of your life that you don't think God really is interested in or a part of your life that you don't want God to be interested in because you're not really ready to deal with it. Whatever it is, God is challenging us to make room. He's not going to judge you. He's coming. He's coming close out of love. He's coming close filled with grace, filled with mercy. He's coming close as a healer. He will come close as the God who sees you. He will come close as the God who provides. He will come close as the God who is your healer. He will come close as the creator of everything in heaven and earth. He will come close as the best friend you could ever have. And in this verse, he's just reminding you that if you make room for him, he will come. So whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever heaviness you might experience, whatever busyness, if you just take some time and make room for him, he wants to do life with you. He wants to come close to you. And that's what I think he wanted me to share with you. Okay, bye.